players day off. Uh, front office busy, though. Ethan Posick, who was injured in the game against the Bills, was put on IR, and the Browns have signed center Greg Mance um, off the Bills practice squad. Seventh year out of Toledo. Uh, Mance has started 32 games in the NFL, has played in 64 um, during his career. Let's welcome in G. Bush, 92.3, the fans, the barbershop, as well as the Ultimate Cleveland Sports Show. Um, G. Bush, Posick um, was playing really, really well. So uh, that's going to hurt this offensive line. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it, it's almost it, it counterproductive to even talk about the offensive line because it just seems like whoever they throw in there, they're good. Uh, Pochich, it, it was a guy who... You know, at the beginning of the season, we, we talk about Harris going down, and we're like, man, this is crazy, man. Do you get J.C. Treader? Do you? But lo and behold, you look at his PFF grades, you look at what he was doing, and you look at just the eye test, the way the Browns were able to continue to run the football with him, uh, that's a big one. Um, I take a look at, you know, the, the, the two plays during the game where we where had uh, Froholt, who, who's, who's played generally well at guard. You have to move him to center. Um, and they had a couple snaps uh, that weren't high enough. Uh, you end up with the, the, the two fourth downs or the third down you went for the sneak lost yards. You lined it back up again and ran it again with Jacoby Brissett, who's been uh, really good with those plays all year, and they miss it again. So um, you kind of see on the wall, the writing on the wall, just, just from you know those couple plays uh, that he was out uh, and what the Browns are missing. So... Um, you know, you look at it, and the last few games, I, I, I take a look at the Buffalo Bills and, and what they kind of ran. Uh, they just basically said, "We're gonna not let you. We're just not gonna let you run the ball like that." You know, we're gonna we're gonna make sure that um, you know we get guys in the backfield. We're gonna be disruptive. And you take a look at what the Bills did. They did just that. A lot of heavy boxes, and and um, the Browns haven't been able to run the ball in the last couple of weeks. You see, the, the total carries for Dick Chubb have gone down. Um, he's yet to be over 20 carries, and, and you know when he gets over 20 carries, the Browns are you know, generally a good team, and you could probably chalk them up for a win. He's only been around 11, 12 carries, maybe 13, 14 carries, and a lot of that has to do with the team stopping the run, and also on top of that, teams saying, hey, Jacoby Brissett, let's see if you can make some throws. And to Jacoby's, uh, you know, to, to Jacoby's, I, I guess, his credit, he's, he's done a really good job of doing that, but um, this is going to hurt a little bit, especially going against a defense um, like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers who can do that, some of the same things the Bills can't get after you. Um, speed and, and their, their front four can be uh, formidable as well.